What? What happened? What's happening? I just gotta ask the host of Wadi's live in Hollywood. Wait, why are you holding a pan? Girl, because I thought you were in danger. You're hosting a what now? The Wadi's. It, they're just like the most prestigious award show for writers. It's Wattpad's annual celebration of the galvanizing, inventive, diverse voices that choose to share their stories on Wattpad every year. O-M-G, I love Wattpad. You know, after it's my favorite series, I mean, I love a hot man with tattoos. Wow, all the best movies start off as books. I know, and you better brush up quickly on this year's submissions because I told them you would co-host. What? Surprise! Yeah, it's fine, I'll teach you everything I know. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go! Okay, now that I've taught you everything you need to know about this year's Wadi submissions, we have to choose outfits. I've mm -hmm. already picked mine. Oh wait, what are you gonna wear? I was thinking <sighs> this. Oh, I love you, but sometimes you dress like a grandpa. What? We have to look stylish. This is stylish. Yeah, in the 1950s. <sighs> okay, fine. What do you suggest I wear then? Listen, you taught me everything that you know about the Wadis. Let me teach you how to style for them. <gasps> Ooh. Makeover montage? Oh, we're makeover montage! <laughs> Amazing. No, you look amazing. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? It's perfect. Ready? Ready. That's right! That's right! What do you think? Do you like my outfit? What? Did I do well? Yes! 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 Ah! A big thank you to my best friend, Jonathan, who helped style this amazing outfit. What do yes. we think? You look great. You, you look like great. It? You look great. Thank you. Look great. you thank you. Look you. Great. Yes. So Wattpatters all over the world, welcome to the 2022 Wattie Awards show coming to you live from WattCon in Hollywood. Yes! Yes! yes. And we're holding this event on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Gabrieleno Tongva peoples and neighboring Chumash peoples. Mm. We acknowledge that the Gabrieleno Tongva as the original caretakers of the Tobangar, which spans LA County and the California Channel Islands. The Gabrieleno Tongva people continue to remain in relationship with these lands through ceremony, Culture, stewardship, they are important parts of not only the history of this area, but also in continuing knowledge of this place. Yes, and we recognize that the traditions of storytelling, which we celebrate today, are indigenous traditions. And we remain mindful of the continuing impacts of colonization and how our connections to that history shape the stories that we tell. And, just in case you've never seen our handsome faces before, <laughs> I'm Jonathan, photographer and TikTok creator. Handle headshots at jmo by .com. Standing next to me, this is, of course. Oh, I, I, I think they already know who I am, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you don't, which I'm sorry for you, but um, my name is Kevin Norman, your neighborhood wordsmith, poet, mm. TikTok trailblazer, yes. content creator, Tell them. book talker, right? editor, writer, multi hyphenate yes. actor. Huh. And my handle is at Kevin T. Norman, and we are your hosts. Woo! Yes! Uh, bonjour, hola, ciao, hello, 
Kumasta, merhaba. Hello to everyone here at home. Those in the future watching, because why would you not want to? Right. Um, the ex who said I couldn't make it. Ah. Uh. And my very loving boyfriend. Oh, and of course, hi, mom. mom. So I told my mom that one day I would host the Academy Awards. This isn't it, but it is close enough. Close, so, close. Hi, mom. And today is all about celebrating incredible stories. We have Wadi's winners in nine different languages, mm. from German to the Turkish, Indonesian, and more. Today, we'll be announcing our English language winners mm -hmm. and a few Spanish ones, but please check out the full list of international Wadi winners on the Wadi's profile on Wattpad. Exactly. And if you're watching live at home, dressed to the nines, like we mm -hmm. are, or cozy in a heavy heated blanket, we want you to tell us what genre would you be? Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm, I think I would be, mm. I mean like action fiction, because I live my Ooh, life like an choice. epic adventure. Good choice, good choice, you know good this. choice. Uh, oh, I think I would be fantasy, obviously. Makes sense. I love the idea of having magic. Also, I do sometimes think it would be nice to escape a world that isn't this one. Are you saying that you want to run away from me? Only sometimes, but not right now, I swear. Uh, right, right. <laughs> Let's kick this thing off with our very first category, Most Engaging World, presented by H.J. Nelson. Yes, H.J. Nelson is a past Wadi's winner. Yes. And author of Wattpad Book's post-apocalyptic novel, The Last She. Woo! Thank you. H.J. Yes, H.J. This category recognizes a story with rich world building that makes the reader feel like they can truly immerse themselves in the setting. We go out as one, together we are strong. Myths, legends, rules, and magic. This story captivated our judges with its distinct concept and beautiful world building that left them wanting more. It's a hero's journey that will leave you engaged and compulsively reading the whole way through. And the Wadi Award for the most engaging world goes to Quill of Thieves by Hey Look the Snitch. Woo! Yes! A scholar boy who denies the existence of elemental magic, a hidden princess who can control all seven elements, a mystical quill capable of rewriting both of their destinies. This is the world of Quill of Thieves. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Congratulations. And listen, Kevin, not me thinking that, that they were only four elements. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to dip my mind to that world immediately. Girl, I'm going to have to introduce you to something called a periodic table. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We worry, love a twist more. that we didn't see coming. No, unless it's a breakup, I don't love that twist. We hate that. And our next category is Biggest Twist, mm. presented by Natalie Walton, author of the Wattpad hit, Revenge of the Sluts. Take it away, Natalie! Natalie! Yes, Natalie! Yes! 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 Get it! Yes! <laughs> The winning story for Biggest Twist had a shocking turn of events that we didn't see coming. Judges adored this story for its realistic characters, effortless balance between mystery and coming of age, and the way it discussed identity and racism. And the Wadi Award for Biggest Twist goes to Your Best American Girl by Where a Garden Was. Woo! Woo! When high school senior Leanna agrees to help Hunter, the heir to a wealthy trust fund, find his sister in exchange for a college admissions recommendation letter from his father, she has no idea what she is getting herself into. This is your best American girl. Woo! 
Yes. Yes. Uh, a hook really keeps us, well, hooked on a story. And if this were a TikTok, you'd only have about three seconds to hook an audience. That's not much. <laughs> wow. Now, up next, we have beloved romance writer and two-time Wadi winner, Claudia Tan. Our girly knows a little something about catchy hooks. She's a singer and a writer. I mean, can you believe that? Oh, she's talented. That's a lot of things. Yes. Wow, <laughs> triple threat. And let's bring up Claudia to introduce our next category. Claudia! Woo! Yes, Claudia! This category recognizes a story that builds off an idea that is fresh, imaginative, and exciting. In singing and in writing, the hook is the thing you can't get out of your head. And the Wadi Award for Catchiest Hook goes to The Palmer Pool by Anna Wesley. Woo! Yes. yes! Judges call this story one of the best time travel romances they've ever read for its detail, pacing, and chemistry between characters. Vanessa Brooks, an anxious and cynical teenager, discovers she can travel to the summer of 1953 using a rundown community pool and vivid imaginings of her grandfather's memories. She risks her future to be with a boy she loves in the past. This is the Palma Pool. Mm. Yes. I love that. Yeah, me take, too. Take me to that pool. Oh. My God. <laughs> so, have you ever just wanted to hang out with your favorite characters or creatures, dead or alive? Mm, yeah, and... We have Wattpad writer and mystery thriller extraordinaire Santiago Speranza to present our next Wadi Award for Best Character. Woo! Yes! Yes, Santiago! Santi! This award recognizes a story with characters that resonated with our judges and made us root for them every step along the way. I'm learning to turn my flaws into And the Wachi Award for Best Characters goes to Blend by Anne K. Reeves. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Funny, thrilling, and heartbreaking, this story won praises for its fulfilling ending, compelling coming of age narrative, and of course, its endlessly charming characters. Political basketball star Ace Jones is used to pleasing crowds. But then he attends a party and finds himself as a prime suspect of a murder he knows he didn't commit. After police mistreat him, Ace begins to feel as if he's just another brown-skinned criminal in the eyes of the law, especially when the victim's father happens to be one of Arizona's most ruthless legislators. This is Blend. Yeah. You know, Congrats to all the inspiring winners so far. Right. Yeah. And we hope that you're all celebrating this win with age-appropriate snacks. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's important. And reveling in your ageless imagination. Oh, speaking of inspiring imaginations, mm. one Wattpad story is getting the big screen treatment, and we have a special guest to say hello. Uh, well, let's check in with the stars of the Wattpad story turned movie, Boot Camp. <gasps> Drew Ray Tanner and Rachel Bodwin. Oh, I uh, didn't see you there. Uh, hi, Wattpad. I'm Drew Ray Tanner, <laughs> and I am super stoked to be starring in the upcoming Wattpad Webtoon Studios adaptation of Boot Camp alongside my good friend, Rachel Bodwin. She's not off. Camera, I, I don't know why I did that. Hey, Boot Camp won a Wadi Award, and now it's gonna be seen by all of you, which means 
big things happen to writers who win Wadis. So congrats to all the Wadi Award winners. Enjoy the rest of BlockCon. I wish I was there. I love you all. Hey Wattpadders, my name is Rachel Bodwin. I'm starting the upcoming Wattpad Webtoon Studio adaptation of Gina Musa's viral Wattpad story, Boot Camp, a 2015 Wadi Award winner. I know you're celebrating tonight, so I just want to send a big congratulations to all the 2022 Wadi Award winners. Who knows, maybe we'll be seeing your story on the big screen someday. In the meantime, keep reading, keep writing, and enjoy the rest of WatCon. Love you, see you soon. Yes! yes. <sighs> Drew Ray Tanner. Mm. Lord have mercy. <laughs> now, when this movie comes out, we have to have a watch party, Kevin. Oh, girl, my calendar's already marked. But we don't have a release date yet. Mm, I might. Anyways, the Wattpad Webtoon Studio prizes are up next. And do you know something that we don't, Shh. Kevin? Because Shh. 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 presented by Gina Musa, author of Boot Camp. Woo! Woo! For all of you to see Boot Camp the movie, and I'm so happy to be here to present to you the winners of the Wattpad Webtoon Studios Entertainment Prize and the Wattpad Webtoon Studios Animation Prize. These prizes considered Wattpad stories with strong storytelling, compelling characters, and great visuals suited for an animation, film, or television adaptation across all genres. And the Wadi Award for Wattpad Webtoon Prize winners are Plagium by Haley Morrison Books. Woo! Tracy Higginbottom, Mr. Porter's witty assistant, finds herself at a dead end when, she consta when constables dismiss a case of his possible kidnapping. With the unexpected help of a spunky adventurer, a chimney sweep boy and his sister, and a reluctant records keeper, she suddenly finds herself on the hunt for Mr. Porter. This is Plagium. <laughs> Next up is Tattered Page by L.L. Sanders. <laughs> Seventeen-year-old romance writer Ima Jean Page questions the afterlife following the recent death of her brother, leading her and her friends to the remote Ayahuasca forest for a private spiritual retreat. There she discovers an odd story outlined in her notebook, detailing and predicting the night's unsettling and bizarre happenings. She and her friends have unwittingly become characters in an unwritten horror novel. This is Tattered Page. Woo! And finally, Las Chances de Estar Contigo by Nicole Cohen. What a chance is the mobile application of the moment, and the secret of its success is very simple. Measure what are the chances that your crush is interested in you. Kylie Shear doesn't hesitate to download it. Maybe she'll dare herself, dare to declare herself to the guy from the gym who drives her crazy, Emmerich Leroy. But he is too enigmatic, and analyzing his intentions becomes a challenge when he discovers that he holds secrets that even the most elaborate technology could not decipher. What is Emmett hiding, and how could it hurt her? Kylie doesn't know it, but she's willing to take the risk. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's bring out our next presenters. Mm -hmm. He is known for his poetic storytelling style, evident in his debut novel, Until We Break. Yes, and she is responsible for the smash hit With Me series. And together, <laughs> right, yeah, 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 yes. Uh, and together they could join into a pretty cool band. Oh, I'd listen to that. Yeah, right well, now, yes. actually pre-sale. And welcome Matthew Dawkins and Jess Consulo. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yes. New adult, young adult, romance, and wild card. We can't wait to reveal the Wadi Award winners in these categories.
words recognize stories that highlight the golden moments between your late teens and early 20s. That capture the authentic teen voice, the emotional stakes of growing up. And the swoon-worthy stories that tug on our heartstrings and transcend multiple genres. And, and the, the Wadi Award, Award goes to... to for New Adult, All That and the Bag of Chips by Rhymes with Fry. Yes! The Son of Every Man by Kid Boise. <laughs> Hazel Fine Sings Along by Katie Wicks Ryder. Yes. Smelling Roses by Twisted Divine. Mm. And Everything is Just Fine by DL Sims Books. <laughs> For young adult. Find a Penny, Pick Her Up by Sydney Ray. <laughs> Two Weeks to Fall in Love by Kat Featherly. <laughs> the Brightest Star in the Constellation by Gan Barubi. Woo! My Boyfriend's Girlfriend by Veronica Luna. and Hidden Within by Cammie Grace. For romance, we have Your Side and Mine by G.D. Pierce. <laughs> A Lady's Guide to Marrying Rich by mm. Drizzle Star Stone. <laughs> All the Other Pearls by Amy Spear. Yes. Remembering Rose by Jess Wesley Books. Yes. And The Tragedies in San Pablo by The Realist Potato. <laughs> For Wild Card, Carpe Noctum by Mar Cafe Writes. <laughs> the Palmer Pool by Anna Wesley. Yes. Heretic of the Nile by Chromatics. <laughs> Good Witch, <laughs> Bad Alpha by She Hopes. And The Elemental by the Anastasia Ellis. Congratulations. The dream for so many writers is to one day see their stories in print on bookshelves around the world. Right. We're about to make that dream come true for a number of Wattpad writers. Is it time? Is this what I think it is? Yep, it is. We have some juicy book awards coming to you right now. The Wattpad Books YA Award and the W by Wattpad Books Award. These winners will be considered for publishing deals with the imprints of Wattpad Webtoon Book Group. Yes, and to present these awards, let's bring out 2020 Wattie Award winner, Lori D. Davila. Woo! Yeah! Sometimes I try. You did it. <laughs> the Wattpad Books YA Award is all about stories in the young adult category that represent an original point of view with strong storytelling. The W by Wattpad Books Award looked at new adult and romance stories with broad commercial appeal. <laughs> And the winners of the Wattpad Books YA Award and the W by Wattpad Books Award are Two Weeks to Fall in Love by Kat Featherly. Woo! Skylar, a self-righteous student with a bone to pick, has to date the high school Casanova in order to find out his secrets and prove he's not the Prince Charming everyone believes he is. This is Two Weeks to Fall in Love. And next up, we have The Heartbreak Hypothesis by Danielle Talbury. Woo! Yes. Woo! 
In this one, a heartbroken STEM major and total love cynic must transform a lovesick, hopeless case into the perfect boyfriend to prove that heartbreak is inevitable <laughs> or miss out on the job of her dreams. Meet the heartbreak hypothesis. Yeah. Oh, heartbreak. I know. Y'all really out here just pulling on people's heartstrings left and right. Okay, I see y'all. Yeah, my heart hurts. <sighs> Woo. Okay, our next presenter is a multi Wadi Award winner, mm -hmm. a screenwriter, and best selling author. And around Wapad, she needs no introduction. But it's literally our job. So we will uh, right, introduce right, her right. anyway. You're right, you're right. Shall we? So please help us welcome Anna Todd. Woo! Yes, 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 Anna. Hi, everyone. <laughs> My publishing journey started here on Wattpad many years ago, as some of you know. So I'm so delighted to be here tonight to celebrate with you the first annual Frayed Pages by Wattpad Books Award, which for those of you who don't know is my own imprint, um, which is obviously a dream come true. So the judges and I were on the hunt for an authentic love story from a unique voice that explores the messy, we all love a messy love, um, and complications <laughs> that come with all of that. And we definitely found it. The winning story for this award stars an LGBTQ plus lead and is totally charming, honest, raw, really a hidden gem. Um, definitely, you'll see. <laughs> so the winner of the Frayed Pages by Wattpad of Books Award goes to Everything is Just Fine by DL Sims Books. Woo! Yes! yes. It follows Jesse, who's heading off to his first year of college and wants to start fresh, focus on school, make new friends, get good grades. We all know how that goes. <laughs> no dating, no complications, but there's Abel, the drummer of Poisonous Winter, and Tobias, his charming and goofy roommate. Neither of them are in his plans, as always, and Jesse is very confused about his feelings for both of them. And things are gonna get really, really complicated. Um, so stay tuned to read this book. Woo! Yes. Woo! Okay, that is totally giving like New York Times bestseller. Yes. Right? Okay, now on to our next category. Horror, mm -hmm. mystery, yes. paranormal, yes. and fantasy. Yes! yes! Say glad to sign me up to that. This is our next batch of eerie winning stories presented by none other than our very own Past Wadis winner, author of Lead Me Astray, Sandy Warner. And oh, accompanying Sandy Warner, Kalita Harms, who wrote Never Kiss Your Roommate. I mean, is that a horror fast rule? I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> Kalita! Sandy! Yay! Yes, lady! Yes! Yes! These genres are for the fear-seeking writers, the ones who keep us on the edges of our seats. The writers who unearth and explore the unknown and take us on fantastical adventures. The monster has a gave us hereditary meets screen boo. Creepy characters with fascinating pasts and secrets. Our winning mystery stories brought the moody, atmospheric, and mind-bending elements out to play. Judges called our winning paranormal stories heartbreaking, funny, and suspenseful, with worlds of monsters, angels, sexy vampires, and cool beasts. And in fantasy, we had beautifully written reads with fantastical concepts, inspiring heroes, and out-of-this-world plots. And the Wadi Awards go to Horror, Tattered Page by L. L. Sanders. Woo! <laughs> and Down Under, Down Under by Amy Marie Z. Woo! <laughs> Mystery Thriller. 
Sanford Crow by Mike Lemieux. Yes. Sweet Deadly Lies by Monrosi. <laughs> Play Gym by Haley Morrison Books. And Your Best American Girl by Where a Garden Was. <laughs> Paranormal. Blend by Anne K. Rees. <laughs> Willow Hills by Danny Brawl. <laughs> City of Dust by M. A. Hartman. <laughs> the Vampire Always Spice Twice by mm. A Hopeless Necromancer. <laughs> and The Drinker of Blood by M. Hunyadi. <laughs> Fantasy, Sadie Madison and the Boy in the Crimson Scarf by Neil J. Hart. <laughs> Quill of Thieves by Hey Look the Snitch. <laughs> Cloud Piercer by Clouded with Stories. Wow. <laughs> and Dangerous Thoughts by B.D. Coco. <laughs> I will definitely be reading all those stories in the daylight because I don't have any nightmares. <laughs> yes, science fiction, historical fiction, yeah. fan fiction. Wait, all the fiction. All of them. And sequels. Here are Bella Higgin and Rebecca Phelps, both experts in dystopian worlds and dystopian worlds with your winners. Let's go! Oh. Woo! These work awards go to forward-thinking writers who take us on journeys through the past, showcase the worlds we already love, and lead us through ongoing stories with enduring characters we adore. The Wattie Award winners in fan fiction perfectly reimagine the worlds we already know and love with new, engaging plots and twists. Our historical fiction winners crafted engaging reads with lovable characters, strong writing, and some delicious historical romance. Fun, light-hearted, mysterious, and well-plotted are just some of the words our judges use to describe the winners of the science fiction genre. And four stories, from traditional chiclet to murder and engaging young adult works, won in our first ever sequels category. And the Watty Awards go to Science Fiction, Villain Complex by Aurora A. North. <laughs> Nobody's Daughter by Shadow Maven. Starfall by Birdpaw. Yes. Velocity to Never Exceed by Rachel Reese Author. And The Marvels by Kelsey Dove. Historical fiction. Kissing the Rake, The Howardies Number no. 2 by Emily Morgans. The Forgotten Princess by Winter Sleep 85. A Simple Deception by Little Low. Something Blue by L. P. Dvorak. And A Promise Kept by A. N. Horton 1227. Fan fiction. Ad Meliora by Ilian J. <laughs> Sequels, All That and Then Some by R.D. Racine. <laughs> Secrets of an Invisible Girl, Love and Magic Book 2 by Danny Draven. 
Drifting Along the Infinite Spring by David Hull. And The Terrible Trial of Kennedy Abrams, Treadmill Number 2 by Katherine Powell. Yes. Oh my goodness. Congratulations to all the winners so far. You know, all of these success stories are just, they're so inspiring. Yes, so let's take a look at what else Wattpad is cooking up. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Get what's going on here. Okay! Fun, right? My to watch and to read list for 2023 is growing by the minute. Mm. And did I spot a certain QT, QB bad boy in that video? I think you did. Oh, my goodness. I mean, also, did you know that QB stands for quarterback? The more you know. Well, I know now. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I am so excited for that movie. Yeah. A small town high school cheerleader falling for the bad boy QB. Mm -hmm. We've all been there. Right. I th oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I think I'm actually getting a call. Oh, this is really embarrassing. Stop, it should be on I Saturday. want bad. I hope we're all having a blast over there at WatCon. I'm Noah Beck, and I'm so excited to be producing and starring in an upcoming Wattpad Webtoon Studios adaptation of Tay Marley's smash hit Wattpad story, The QB Bad Boy and Me. Bringing a Wattpad story to life is a dream come true, and I'm so excited for you all to see it soon. I know firsthand how powerful a Wattpad story can be, so congrats to all the Waddies nominees and winners. You worked hard and deserve this time to go celebrate. See you on the big screen. And small screen. Every time it's Woo! Wow. Okay, okay, Ooh. okay, Wattpatters. Yeah. The time has come for the grand prize winning stories. Woo! Yes. Yes. And just like Madonna, mm. Gaga, uh. Adele, uh. some pop stars only need one name. Mm. And this is true for Ari, AKA Ariana Godoy, a past Wattie's winner, Filmmaker, masterminds of the Atreves universe, and now Wadi's presenter. So what doesn't she do? I, I mean, don't know. She's that so was talented. a lot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the, the, the no, Wikipedia page it. is going to be pretty long. I mean, what doesn't she do? Anyway, she's here to help us introduce the biggest awards of the night: our grand prize. Woo! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yes! We yes, see girl! you, girl. We see yeah! you. We see you, girl. Yes, our rate. Hola, todos. Hello everyone, I'm so happy to be here to celebrate Wattpad and our incredible community. Writing on Wattpad has been an important launchpad for me. We're currently getting ready to release the second film in the Atraves series, Atraves del Mar. But while... Yes! <laughs> Woo! While I'm so grateful for all the movies and opportunity is the love from my Wattpad readers and the support from my fellow writers that has motivated me to keep writing. So congratulations to everyone who submitted the work for a Wadi. You did the thing, you already wrote a novel, and you have already won in so many ways. But we do have some pretty prestigious prizes for our Wadi winners, and these winning stories were deemed the best by the Wadi judges and have achieved distinction in at least three of the four special prize categories. On top of notoriety, winners receive a cash prize of $5,000. <laughs> and the first grand prize, what your award goes to, The Vampire Always Buys Twice by a Hopeless Nicoman. <laughs> when a client drops dead in her parlor, former necromancer turned fortune teller, Isla has no choice but to illegally resurrect her. Isla is a certain nobody will notice, at least she was certain, until a handsome vampire strolled in. This book is a love letter to a classic noir stories and sexy vampire stories. Now, the second grand prize what award winner is La Niña by Lynn S. 13. Yes. Since 
her birth, Kendra's family has waited and watched. She's, she has always been cared for and separated from her siblings, causing her to question the purpose of her existence. Until the day her family's secret curse is revealed and Kendra discovered that she was chosen to bear it. La Niña is a novel with exquisitely developed characters, a perfectly structured world, and an innovative plot. Its dark places, combined with the poetic undertones of its narrative, make this story a unique literary experience. Congratulations to our Greenness. Felicitaciones a todos los ganadores. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Now, Kevin. Yes? Can I just say something? What, girl? Not only did we get to celebrate the next generation of trailblazers, mm -hmm. we got to meet two heartthrobs. Oh, yes. Right, we all know uh, that. Whew. And we also got to travel across the globe in just one night. Mm -hmm. And we got to meet so many talented creators. And I got to do all of this with my best friend. Aww. Stop, I, I can't cry, it'll run. Um, I couldn't have done this without you. Okay, tell me. Mm -hmm. What Wattpad story are you going to read next? I'm so glad you asked. I think I'm no, gonna get the- No, I'm sorry. Oh. Actually, um, I'm getting the signal that from the producers that we gotta wrap up. Oh. Um, so this has been <laughs> such an incredible <laughs> day for storytelling. Thank you. Yes, and congratulations to all the winners and to all the writers who completed their stories and submitted them. Your winners too. Yes, and a reminder to check out the full list of international winners on Wattpad. Yes, uh, thank you to everyone for coming, for tuning in. Yes, It's been yes, a pleasure serving yes. you as your host. I'm Jonathan. I'm Kevin. And we'll, and see, we'll see you see next, next year. year. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Ah!